Hi everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well, I'm quite good. I appreciate you coming back to the DD for another dose. Hey, uh, we're gonna get into some basketball recruiting from the transfer portal. We have good news for you and a little bonus thing at the end. I think you're gonna enjoy. Hey, remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, leave those comments and response by mail red golf clothing that links down there in the story 10 percent off with your life of fits code this is the new purple stripe i love it i love it a lot on with the dd kansas state has one more basketball player cal state fullerton big guard at 6465 max jones has committed to k-state after visiting over the last couple days he quickly uh, decided this was the place for him and when I first saw him and saw his stats and kind of his background, I thought, this is a nice roster piece. You know, you got to get fill out that roster with guys who could help you. Is this like a Tyke Green guy? And then I watched his highlights. This dude can play. You know, his numbers are pretty good. He averaged about 15 and, and six rebounds. Uh, he's shot 38, 39% from three-point range. He's a lefty. He extends the defense. His flaw is, well, you know me in turnovers. I don't like them. I like guys that value possessions. He needs to cut down on his turnovers, averaging about three a game, which isn't great. But this is a really nice pickup for K-State. I like him a lot when I look at his highlights. I saw some highlights from a Nebraska game when he really put on a show. And uh, he's just got a lot of skill sets to him. He moves well. He can just spot up and shoot it. And you know what those left-handers shoot those threes. They always look nice. And uh, he also can take it to the bucket. He knows how to work down into the lane and, and get an and one. He's a nice addition. I I think, uh, you know, this isn't Khalif Battle by any stretch of the imagination. But again, this is a guy that will contribute quite a bit for this team. And that gets them down to four open scholarships. And they want at least two big guys out of that. And and they're going to get a couple visitors next week, we are told, including maybe H.O.R. H.O.R. out of uh, Sanford, played against Kansas in the opening round of the tournament. Pretty damn good player, if you ask me. This is a big, big possibility that K-State will add him. He's a power forward more than a post. They do need some post players, but I'm, I think he's a guy that can go inside too because this is what's great about him. He's a very good three-point shooter. He's effective. He can stretch the defense. So he can drag your big men away from the basket and open up the lane for all of these talented guards K-State is bringing in. And uh, I hope they get a true center, a really good guy, that good big guy that can run the floor, block shots, and also create offense for others out of the post as well as score. We'll see how that develops. We'll stay on top of it at GoPowerCat.com. We knew that Max was coming in. We shared some details before he signed and or committed, and, and now he is going to be a Kansas State Wildcat. He looks the part, man. He looks he looks the part. He He's a tall, athletic guy, big thighs, moves well, shoots well, and I like this. Congratulations to Jerome Tang and the boys. Let's keep this momentum rolling. And outside of the two guys we did an earlier uh, commentary on that they missed on, including Battle, they get guys typically when they come to k-state they wrap them up so let's see if that trend continues next week with those big men coming to visit